Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Tween GMS for GameMaker Studio 2. In this video, we will look at Easy Tweens, a group of scripts designed to get you tweening things as quickly and easily as possible. If you are new to tweening, then this is a great place to start. For reference, you can find the Easy Tween scripts located in the resources hierarchy under Scripts, Tween GMS, Easy Tweens. Here you'll find scripts for tweening the most common variables for an object. They include the ability to tween position, image scale, image angle, direction, image alpha, image color blend, image index, speed, and horizontal and vertical speed. There's also a utility script called tween easy use delta. This allows you to toggle the default timing uh, for easy tweens between steps and seconds timing. I will touch on this a bit later in the video. All right, let's go ahead now and find ourselves an object to test out these easy scripts. I have here for testing object test. I've assigned it a basic square sprite, which will work for our needs. Uh, we The first example we're gonna set up is that we are going to have this object move from its move from its starting location to the mouse cursor position when we release the left mouse button. So to do that, we're going to add an event. Mouse global left released. And from here to achieve this, we are going to use the easy script tween easy move. And down here you can see some of the parameters that this is going to take. And the first parameter it takes is the starting X location. We'll use the current location of this object as a start, as well as the starting location, we'll use Y. We're gonna make the destination X location, mouse X, and the destination Y location, mouse Y. And in case you don't know, mouse X and mouse Y hold the cursor position for the mouse. Uh, we don't want any delay for this. We want the tween to start right away. So we're just going to put zero. And next is the duration. This is the length in, in steps of how long we want this animation to play out. Uh, if our game speed runs at 30 frames a second, then setting it to 30 will have it complete in about one second. So we're just going to run it at 30, 30 steps for now. Next, we need to select an, uh, an easing script. There is um, various easing scripts included with TweenGMS. As you can see here, there's various kinds to select from. And each has a different type of behavior, um, uh, which I'll go on and explain in a later video. But in this case, we're just going to use ease in out quad for our testing purposes. There's also a optional mode argument. Uh, but for now, we're not going to use this. We're just going to complete the script without it. And uh, we're just going to go ahead um, and make sure our object is in our test room. Yeah, there it is. And we're going to go ahead and press play and just make sure that this is working as intended. All right, here's our test example. And there we go. We have this object moving over 30 steps from its starting location to its destined to the mouse cursor location and it's smoothly uh, smoothly easing in and easing out but let's make this a little bit more advanced let's do another thing here let's add another easy tween this time we're gonna have this object rotate 360 degrees as it's moving to its no like new location to do that we're gonna use the easy script tween easy rotate here we need to supply a starting angle, we'll do zero. A destination angle, we'll do 360, so it does a complete turn. Again, uh, we don't want any delay, so we'll do zero. And again, we'll use 30 uh, steps as a duration. And we'll again use ease in out quad. And no mode parameter, we'll complete the script call like that. And again, we'll play it and check it out and see what happens. All right, now when we click, it rotates 360 degrees. But let's add another, another tween in here. Let's have it scale as well when we do this. 
For that, we're going to use tween easy scale. And we need to supply a starting XY image scale and a destination XY image scale. So we're going to have the image scale start at its, at 1 for both X and Y. And we're going to have it double up to 2. We're going to have it become twice the size for both X and Y. So it'll become, um, yeah, that'll be all we need. Again, uh, we don't want any delay. But this time, we're going to use a duration of 15, which is half of our other two tweens. And I'll show you why in just a second. So we're going to use, again, ease in out quad. But now we're going to use this optional mode parameter. Uh, with tween GMS, there, you can use these macros to access the different tween modes. And the default one is tween mode once, which is what the other two have been using. But in this case, we're going to use the one called tween mode bounce. And what that's going to do is that's going to have the um, this object scale up to two times its size over 15 steps. And once it reaches its destination, it's going to bounce back to its original size of one. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here. There we go. We can see it scaling up to two times, and then it falls back to its original size. As you can see, it kind of seems like it's hopping almost up towards us. All right. Well, there's various other tween easy scripts we can go, we could cover, but I would encourage you to check them out and experiment with them. They're pretty straightforward. Um, but what I want to show you before we finish up here is what happens when we use the script tween easy use delta. And by default, this script returns is set to false. And that allows us to use step timing like we did, like 30 steps or 15 steps. But in this case, if we set it to true, all of the tween easy scripts will now use seconds timing instead of step timing. So what that, hap what that does is we can now change this 30 to 1 which will make it run at one second. And the 15 will make it 0 0.5 for half a second. And when we play this, everything should look exactly the same as it was before. But what's happened now is these tweens are now using what's called delta timing. And so what happens is that if, you, if your game runs at different frame rates, uh, the length of your duration will not change. So if your game runs at 60 frames a second, but it slows down to say like 50 or 40 frames a second, the animation, the duration of the animation will not change. It will stay consistent no matter what your frame rate is. So this is a really cool option. Um, if you use del delta timing in your games, I would encourage you to use this setting. All right, well, that's it for now for Easy Twins. This is just a basic introduction. Go ahead and experiment with them. Try out different uh, Ease uh, scripts to see what they do, the different, um, effects they have uh, don't be afraid to just go wild and see you know what happens uh, also experiment with the different uh, tween modes try out um, i highly recommend looking up tween mode patrol that's a common one that i use as well uh, again just experiment and see what happens when you tweak these and uh, experiment all right well thanks for watching i look forward to you joining in further videos bye for now